I thought it was important today to give you an update on the situation at Marysville Pilchuck High School, the tragedy there. I know that many of you are involved in discussions with teachers and um, parents and kids, and they want to know how Young Life's responding. I want you to be able to answer well. And there's a few different teams uh, or opportunities of, for involvement that I'd like to share with you. First is our incredible leaders that are on the ground in Marysville. Tyler Marcus and Brent Schwartz are both there. You know, Tyler Marcus could have ended up anywhere. We love Tyler. He's been involved for a while. But it was early this summer that he decided, I'm going home to Marysville Pilchuck, where I graduated from high school, and I'm going to start ministry in Marysville. He built a team. They've been praying around campus all summer. They've been doing contact work, and they're ready to start club. They are, they are there right now. And Brent Schwartz, just a month ago, started with MCYM and is working with the military kids at Navy Base Everett, which has a number of their operations in Marysville and Arlington. Both of those guys are incredible, and I'm so thankful that they're there. I mean, Tyler Marcus is a grounded, solid guy who cares deeply about kids. That's why he does what he does. But he also just makes you laugh and brings joy into a room, and that's what he's doing this week. You know, the kids in Marysville do not have school this week, but the Marysville community has planned a number of activities during the week to keep the kids busy, give them stuff to do, time to be together. And it's like they've put together a contact work schedule for the week. Like yesterday at two o'clock, there was a uh, movie special playing just for kids from Marysville Pilchuck and the first 100 kids were free. Um, and then there's churches in the community that have opened their doors and opened their hearts, opened their wallets even. So Hillside Church is a church where Tyler's just hanging out in their coffee shop and kids know they can go there. There's even a picture in the paper of it this week as Tyler just sits there and has conversations with kids and helps them laugh and enjoy and, and remember that they're kids. And there's even a church, Bethlehem Lutheran, in Marysville that gave the Young Life team at Marysville Pilchuck $2,000 and said, you all go spend time with the kids. You know them. I want you to buy coffees, buy meals, do what you got to do, and here's the money to do it. It's been a great blessing. But continue to pray for Tyler, Brent, the volunteer leaders there, they're really extending themselves in hard conversations. I mean, it's full-on work all the time. The other community that um, has not been talked about would be the medical community in, community in Everett, where these kids ended up after this tragedy. Many of these, uh, or some of these folks that are involved in that tragedy are donors, they're leaders, they're friends of Young Life, table hosts, those kind of folks who have been great supporters of ours, and they've really just uh, how to deal with carnage on Friday. It was terrible, and they're struggling with that. So pray for them. Um, and, and more important than anything else, please pray for the victims that are still in the hospital fighting a very difficult uphill fight. Two of them are um, in very, very difficult, uh, grave situations. And just pray for peace, pray for the families. Um, I'd also say pray for the Tulalip people and the reservation there. As you know, we used to have a staff person on the Tulalip reservation, and I've been in contact with her, and it's very difficult on the reservation um, as these kids, some of these kids that were involved were uh, Tulalip kids. And as we think about praying for kids, the victims, the Tulalip kids, pray for all kids. This hits them all. And we've even seen, you've probably seen in your community, some copycat stuff. And... Um, Pray, pray for kids. I think the bottom line to know is that Young Life is, for you to be able to communicate, Young Life is present at Marysville, High, Marysville Pilchuck High School. We have not only an MCYM staff person there, but a veteran volunteer leader there um, who's looking to come on staff. Uh, that there are needs financially for the area. Uh, some of those have, uh, have been helped, but there's more. And then I'd also say that, uh, that you know Denny, the President of Young Life, Ken Tankersley, Senior Vice President, and the region have all been offering help to the area, and um, and especially from the uh, mission-wide side, it's just been incredible to see the outpouring of support. It's been, it's it's really a blessing to be a part of an organization uh, when you have situations like this, because Young Life responds well. We're caring well for our staff, and we're caring well for our volunteer leaders, and they in turn are caring well for kids.